Previously on Black Cell, we play as John Black Cell, the Black Panther, solving crimes in the name of justice. A rhinoceros tried to bribe us to keep quiet. So we took the money. Then a nostril walked into the office, asking to solve the Ahegawu face murder. We asked questions to a good man who might have COVID-19. We asked the waitress who last seen the body, who also might have COVID-19. And it continues. Alright, hello there. Welcome back to Black Sad. So, last time we left off, uh, we were trying to get... Trying to pick up the lockpicks from the office. Uh, we've gained... You gain some clues and I guess some suspects from uh, the blind legless goat man at the alleyway. So he told us there were four people that used the back door, and two of them I actually think might be the gorilla because they're big. And the only big thing we saw right so far is the gorilla. So. Alright, we are back at our office. Someone's ringing. Hmm. I hope that wasn't a client. Although probability would suggest a cold call. Or, even worse, the War Veterans Therapy Group. Hmm. Huh, someone trying to prank call yeah, me? I was pretty sure I left the lockpicks on the table. Alright, so we gotta find our lockpicks now. But I think we can snoop around our own office. Let's see yep. what's this. That's where I left my lockpicks. Famous actress Natalia. What if the only thing that keeps you going is the very thing that won't let you move on? It's too soon to say goodbye. She wouldn't hear me anyway. Oh. Is Natalia our first love? Famous actress. Uh, I pretend to drink. Here's a tip for aspiring detectives. Pretend that booze is an issue. Clients love stereotypes. The truth? I used tequila to clean my lockpicks. In fact, I just finished cleaning them when that rhino walked in. Maybe we knocked them down during the fight. Okay, cool. I guess we are kind of like shaping up our own personality here. Sometimes I also use it to type out reports that nobody reads or and like invoices we're making up that our, nobody pays. Our own story here, which is really Bookkeeping cool. Bookkeeping is not my strong suit. I'm good with expenses. It's the income I don't get. Well, isn't that everyone? It's too soon to say goodbye. Alright, so we... Yes, our girlfriend was murdered. Or there might just be a celebrity crush. What did you do to earn the admiration of a millinery culture, distant cousin? I mean, your first love could be a uh, celebrity. Let's see what's in the drawer. Alright, can we take the gun with us? Good old Weekly did a fine oh job God. with these pictures. Oh. That's disgusting. Oh. That's I wonder not open if the that would ever have the nerve to use it. Okay. Oh. That was horrible. I'll probably censor that. Uh, you you wouldn't want to see that anyway. Uh, 
Mrs. Colbert is the rhino's wife. We don't need to call her. Smirnoff is a dickhead. Let's not call him again. I wonder who's Donna Black said. That's the same last name, so maybe a family member. Hello? Hi, Ray. Uh, hi. Who are you? Take a guess. I already gave you a clue. I know your name, so... So, so, uh, 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 I don't know. Maybe I know your name because we're family. No way. My dad never calls me. My grandpa never calls me. My uncle never calls me. Well, he does something. Okay, weird uncle. Alright, Donna is the You sister. got it, Ray. Congrats. What did I lit? Hmm. What do you want? I want... I want a gun! Bang, bang, bang! Bang, bang! Hi, perfect. You just got a gun from the rhino. Sure, you earned it. Alright. You've earned it. How about a toy gun? Come on, Uncle John. It's not fair. It's not fair. Oops, Mom's coming. Bye, Uncle John. Ray! Is that the way you say goodbye to your uncle? Oops. Love you, Uncle John. Now go put on your jacket. We're late. It's not fair. What a surprise. How are you? Hey, Donna. Bang, bang, bang. I'm fine, thank you. Everything's fine. Don't you worry about me. I do worry about you. Especially when you tell me not He's to. not really holding the telephone <laughs> in his ear. Yeah. Can He's like putting it at the, at the back of his head. Hey, that's not how you use a telephone, man. Okay? I'm really sorry. Sure. One last thing. Ray, <laughs> hurry up. We have to go. Sure, I love you. Love you, sis. And I love you, little brother. Okay, now I really have to go. Bye, John. Bye, Uncle John. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Oh. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, let's see what's outside the window. Alright, monkey. A monkey. A visiting friend once told me that New York City smells like a giant bonfire. I'd say the smell is rubbed off on me. Oh, but look at the look at the graphics. Though. The graphics are actually really good. It's not mm, how do I say it? Maybe it's because the characters aren't human, so it's not really realistic. But at the same time, it's realistic. I don't know. So I'm guessing um, black set. Was a war veteran. Wonder if that's World War Two. Probably not. World War Two will probably be. Actually, I don't know. This might be the nineteen. I never understood why I had to be born in New York. But the real issue is why I'm still here. Since they're using pretty old school stuff. It's probably the 1980s or something. Uh, let's uh to find the lock pit. Police Commissioner Smirnov smoked that cigarette. Oh, that's Smirnov. He's um. What do you Judging by the way he put it out, he was pretty nervous. So, uh, is those police dogs? Oh, which makes sense. He's a Smells police good. commissioner. Tasted even better the day Smirnov brought it. In exchange for a favor. A favor no cop should ever be paid for. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, well, you're not using it. 
using your other hand, man. Your other hand was closer. Okay, you can push the couch. Oh, the phone's ringing. Most detectives feel safe with a gun in their pocket. Me, I prefer lockpicks. At least I know these little fellows won't backfire. Someone's calling and you like just having a monologue. Where the hell did you go, John? I thought you won the case. Oh, it's that gorilla. I'm just doing my job. Next stop, Bobby Yale's place. Alright. Just try to be a bit more communicative. You made a crappy impression. And now Sonia has second thoughts about you. What do you mean? Why would she have second thoughts? We literally said we are the best detective and everything is fine. She shouldn't have second thoughts. I think we covered everything in this office. It's time to get back. Looking back, I wish I'd never found my lockpicks. Maybe I wouldn't have gone back to the gym. All hell was about to break loose. Alright, that doesn't sound good. Bobby Yale's place was on the way, so I decided to drop by, lock picks in hand. The gym could wait. Sonia and Jake had already searched the place, to no avail. But a good detective would have better luck. I know it oh, might shit. not seem like it, but... <gasps> oh. Oh. It's a, it's when a someone hits you like that, you know you're onto something. It's only fair to show some gratitude. <laughs> Time no see. Oh shit, that's um that's the same rhinoceros. Oh, how the tables turn. You help me, so I'll help you. Now leave before my partner. Oh thanks. Damn cat. Well done, Colbert. Yeah, I thought he's gonna help me. How about this? For every wrong answer, I'm gonna give it to you with this club. Deal? Uh, I was just provoking. Didn't we just witness your lack of aim? Wrong answer. Oh shit, where did he hit me? Hope you didn't hit my first. Pee -pee. Well, second question. What the hell are you doing here? Okay, let's use our kitty senses. You're gonna regret this, man. I have to resort to my kitty senses. A shamrock? Is he Irish? Okay, nothing. It should start to swell any moment now. I think there's anything else. Okay. One more time. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, are you Irish? Are you of Irish descent? I've got an Irish boss, just like my friend Colbert here. I'm sure the name O'Leary rings a bell. Right? Desmond O'Leary. If you live in New York City, you've certainly heard of the richest bookie in town. 
After everything that's happened, I was beginning to feel like this case was finally moving forward. Wrong answer! But I was wrong. Now, where were we? What the hell are you doing here? I know your friend Colbert. And his wife. Now he wants to insult you. All right, then. He's all yours. <sighs> all right. Now it's your turn. I'll call the boss. I want you to yell like I'm beating the crap out of you, okay? Oh, I said she Desmond. Had we caught some damn detective snooping around Bobby Yale's place. Yeah, hired by Dunn's daughter. Hey, how does he know that? I didn't tell him anything. Safe and sound? What do you mean exactly? Hmm. Also oh, doesn't sure. sound like he's screaming that loud. Will do. Colbert, stop hitting him, you beast. What a shame. We were just getting to know each other. <laughs> Oh, they let us go. What nice people. What's this? Thank you, Mr. Blacksad. Does the postman always leave your mail on the floor? I don't know. I... I... What's wrong? It's... It's my mother's wedding ring. Who had it? I don't know. My father wore it on his pinky finger after she died. Not always, apparently. Will you find out why? Sure. But there's something else I'm worried about. This might have something to do with the... Uh... With your father's death. Oh. Oh my, yes. It could be. I don't think it has anything to do with Bobby Yale. At least I hope not. Oh, let's see. Okay. Nice and steady heartbeat. Oh, you can, you can hear a heartbeat from that far. Big, bright eyes. Looks well rested. Either she didn't mourn her father, or she really knows how to work that makeup. Well, he doesn't care, which is suspicious. Oh, something's here. A poster. What the? What's wrong? Someone's taking pictures from the rooftop. Are you sure? I'll go take a look. What? Now, who's that rope for, Miss Dunn? Mm. Weekly. Uh, oh, this is uh, weekly. Uh, 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 oh, he was uh, there. He's uh, a weasel. Uh, 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 what the hell are you uh, doing here? Uh, oh. <laughs> hey, hey, look! Isn't that Cassidy? <laughs> oh, damn, what is that? What is that thing? Don't change the subject, you sad little... Why don't we settle this over ice cream, huh, John? Just like in the good old days. <laughs> How did you get up here? Uh, uh, I don't want anyone to see you. Everyone, even the most hapless of creatures, has a gift. Something that makes them special. That makes them worth knowing. Foul smelling weekly is no exception. No matter what he does, it's impossible to stay mad at him for too long. Mm -hmm. ah, 
This bourbon shake is delicious. Want a taste? You know I don't like milk. You're lost. So, Joe Dunn hangs himself and leaves his gym to his daughter, which makes her the first woman to run a boxing gym, I think. The real question is, why did he commit suicide? Well, it's pretty obvious. Is that so? Care to shed some light on this, Sherlock? Oh, there's no need to look for reasons. People hang themselves every day out of sadness. And stuff like that. End of story. Hmm. Money trouble. Everyone knows that Jim had some serious money issues. Maybe he just got tired of fighting. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's just a hunch. I wouldn't bet my life on it. I've got other suspects, like O'Leary, the bookmaker. Desmond O'Leary? The same O'Leary who used to date Helen Moore? America's sweetheart? Now that's a woman. And then there's the walrus. Who was that guy? Come on. You've never heard of Frank Cassidy, the president of the Boxing Managers Association? Who's also Stone's oh, agent, so Bobby Yale's rival. Hmm. He might know why Dunn killed himself, right? I decided to ask Weekly to investigate Cassidy. My reasons? Weekly was right. Cassidy could have known why Dunn killed himself. Weekly had already proven to be nosy. The farther I kept him from the gym, the better. But with Weekly, you just never know what the best approach might be. Should I give him an order or a subtle suggestion? Hmm, probably a suggestion. Yeah, you might be right about that. Nice. But, hmm, it won't be easy to make him talk. He seems like a pretty tough cookie. Only a thorough and efficient detective could pull it off. But the problem is, I already got enough on my plate. You're a lucky man, John Black said. I don't follow. You just found the thorough detective you need. Where? Oh, of course. What a great idea. Oh. How did I not think of you? Hey, don't sweat it. But you'll have to do me a favor. Tell Sonia Dunn that a legendary journalist from What's News wants an interview. Weekly, please. Well, if not, bye-bye, Cassidy. Ah, uh, sure. All right. I'll see what I can do. Great. That's settled, then. By the way, I never told you what happened to Colbert, did I? No. What happened? The rhinoceros came by and offered me money to keep quiet. Wow. Are we talking petty cash or big bucks? The latter. That's my boy. Good job, Black said. Half the money is yours. Yeehaw! So, was there really someone on the roof? Uh, no. no one. I must be seeing things. A hallucinating detective. This must be my lucky day. Oh, come on. Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, address, and date of birth. Okay, let's just replay it. I thought we could look at what's on the thing. Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, address, and date of birth. I guess we should ask her some stuff. Miss Dunn, can I run a couple of questions by you? If they help you find Yale, go ahead. Mm. I saw you arguing with a guy named Cassidy. What did he want? Uh, remember the fight that needs to take place in order to save this gym? Well, Cassidy manages Yale's rival, Stone, the reigning champion. 
If Bobby doesn't show up, he'll lose money. Maybe not a lot, but enough to care. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Yes, I'm very sure. Safe. I'd like to take a look inside that safe now. Could you give me the combination? I'd love to help you, but my mother's birthday used to be the combination, but I already tried it. Uh, what's this? A happy family? Let's finally open the locker downstairs. Oh wait, I actually learned this this new function. Oh, this is pretty cool. Okay, so basically we're gonna put the clues together, and I think make a theory, I guess. So let's see. Okay, I don't think we can put anything together yet. Probably don't have enough clues. Let's uh op go open the locker finally. That's what we that's what this episode was supposed to be about getting the lock picks and opening the locker but got sidetracked a lot. Oh Thanks, pal. So, what else can you tell me about Dunn's death? Well, not much. My memory's not what it used to be. Oh, shit, staring at me like that. What was Joe Dunn like? Uh, he was a decent man. Have you seen all those slogans on the wall? Those motivational phrases? Joe really believed in them. All of them. What about the ones in the toilet stalls? Those are really good. Joe Dunn or Joey Dunn? Huh? Uh, nobody called him Joey. Well, maybe his wife. Although, she didn't call him anything after she died. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's a... That's a crappy joke, man. He played the saxophone, right? Yeah, pretty well for a white boy. But he quit when his wife died. Makes no sense, right? I mean, nothing draws chicks like the brass. Why quit when you're finally free? <laughs> sure, nice. Okay. I didn't even know Joe Dunn is white. How can you even tell? I guess the f fur color? I don't know. What says about Bobby Yale? Do you have any idea where Bobby Yale could be? Not a clue. I dropped by Bobby Yale's apartment. I think he might be involved with O'Leary, the bookmaker. Uh, you sure? Yale had some dark years, no doubt, but Dunn turned him into a decent guy. I'm no d detective, but I wouldn't follow that lead. Do you know any of his relatives? His his father, Ava, Ava, Avenarius. Oh, that's a cool name. Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear 20 years ago? Yeah, and his wife, Bobby's mom, died shortly a a after. Dunn is the closest thing the family the poor kids had ever since. If Yale's going to fight the reigning champion, he's got a big career ahead of him. He hasn't lost a single fight since he turned pro. The little bastard beat the socks off me a few years back. You said Yale joined a gang back in the day? Know which one? Hey, 
Hell, I don't know, John. This is New York City. There are more gangs than people. It took a long time for you to think of it. This gorilla is suspicious. What can you tell me about Sonia Dunn? She's hot, ain't she? <laughs> oh my god. I wouldn't know. I'm not interested in furries. You two seem to get along nicely. Well, I've known her since she was a baby. But she sure has grown, uh, if you get my drift. I hadn't seen her since she left for college about four years ago. He's it seems like her father's feather. death didn't really upset her. Well, she likes to play it cool, which makes her really hot. Dunn wasn't black, but he allowed you and Bobby Yale to train here. Yeah, this was the first integrated gym in the city, I think. But not everyone liked that, hmm? You've seen the graffitis, right? If I get my hands on that bastard... All right, I better let you get it. back to your drills. All right. So the gorilla might have something to do with all of this. All right, let's finally open Bobby Yale's locker. Just a, a book. Oh, isn't this the thing on the the gold man's? The gold man found this in the trash. So someone threw out that. Someone threw that out. Uh, was it the second or third guy, I think? Uh, there's another one here. Jake, oh, isn't this the Gorilla's Rocker? I don't think we should open this. Oh, here's the... Hmm. What the hell? <laughs> oh Jay, my god, wait, calm down, calm down. One good reason not to smash in your face. What the hell are you doing in my locker? Sorry, man, come I won't on, touch man. your porn. We're friends, calm down. Friends don't spy on each other. Have me. Sometimes, John, I can oh. just punch you. <clears throat> He got the um, he got the O'Leary thing with him. I'm telling you, that guy is suspicious. Arthur Tucker. Hmm. Oh shit! What's this? Smells like paint. paint. The proud South. Hmm. Technicians, oh, oh wow, they are, they are, I mean, all of them are really white. Is this the, is this the Nazis? Supremacists, huh? Oh, sorry. Bastards. It's the Nazis. Alright, one more locker. Ah, uh, no. Close it, close it. Right, this one. Of right. course. 
M2. I think we got a lot more clues so we can make. That's the number 5. So is there. Can we make 5 deductions? So, okay, we obviously know. Okay, the chest expander. And this one. Well, I know this much. The chest expander in the trash belongs to Yale. Okay, I wait. Can we go back? I think there's. We can put more clues together. Jake got mad. Okay, nice. Why do you have that pen, Jake? What mess are you in? How do you open the notebook? This is cool, has some stats. 3.7% sensitive. Cautious, really. pragmatic. 80% romantic. Wow. 100% talkative. Oh, it would have been cool to play like a silent detective. That would be a really cool, you know. Uh, okay. Okay, F1 is to open the the notebook. Uh, Okay, so there's a few theories written down here. Arthur Tucker painted the racial slur on Yale's locker. Oh. Okay. Mary put the wedding ring in the envelope and wrote Sonia Dunn on it. But why did she have the ring in the first place? Okay, okay. We are getting somewhere. I think there's one more deduction we can make. Okay. Hmm. Were Mary Purnell and Joe Dunn an item? Oh, there's one more. Okay. Hmm. What if Mary's birthday is the combination to the safe? But do we know her birthday? Okay, we just keep get, getting new clues. We are piecing the information together. There are cards. Hmm. All 
Alright, we are finally getting somewhere. Put together some good theories. This guy right next to me might be suspicious. Um, so we got a few suspects. Um, Bobby Yale himself might have killed Joe Dunn. Um, this gorilla next to me. Maybe both of them did it together. Uh, it might be the walrus. And the walrus and his client. Although that wouldn't make sense. Maybe it will, I don't know. Uh, who else? It's Mary Purnell knows more than she said she did. I'm guessing. Because, oh, she's heavily related. As we found out, she's heavily related to Joe Dunn. Maybe they had an affair, but it's getting interesting. And I will leave it there for this part. It's uh, getting a bit long. Uh, but we finally went somewhere and this case is getting interesting. There's so many theories. Very curious to see how this goes on. And so far this game is amazing. I love the gameplay and all of it. And I will see you in the next part. That's it. Alright. See you. Thanks for watching.